today I'll be installing this uh, digital rear view camera and before I install anything that's complicated I like to test it out first I took everything apart set the camera here the mirror is here and there's a forward facing camera this is a 2k system so it should have better resolution um, here's the camera options that's the front it's got a tint on it so that's why the picture is goofy and that's how you switch through cameras and the way you put it in reverse is <coughs> take the red wire and give it to the backup lamp that's what it looks like so I plan to mount this camera <coughs> onto this BMW emblem. Some people might get mad because I'm going to ruin this emblem, but I don't care. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, drill a hole in this. In the emblem so I can fit the camera this is a one of those example of how do you uh, fit a square pig in a round hole I'm also going to make this into a round pig so I can fit into a round hole so uh, I gotta remove all these covers to get to the emblem from the inside to see if I can actually fit it in there before I cut this uh, round so in the interest of time I'm not going to uh, show all of these steps but I will have to remove all these covers so that's that removing the cover was a pain first I had to remove this side that side then there was clips everywhere all the way around then there was, uh, it was bolted on here with some Allen. Uh, had to remove these uh, struts, but looks like this is not the first time I removed it because that's my handiwork. That's, uh, hmm, I didn't make sound. That's to make my uh, center light blink when I hit the brake. Anyway, so now I have to take all of this off and uh, see what I can drill a hole. I don't think it's gonna be easy, but let's see what I can do. The emblem and the center light is removed. Irreversible damages start to happen. I have to drill a hole right here for the camera. Not looking forward to it. I hope I don't regret this. I applied some tape on it, hoping that will make it better. I don't like it.
This is more or less how it's gonna go in there. Doesn't look terrible. I almost forgot to record, so I took everything apart, all on the right side. The wire has to come through all of this, pipe through all of that. Hope I have enough uh, wires, but I'll run it through here. It'll go straight across here with that harness, that red wire right next to that. It will pull out through there and uh, come in through the armrest. Somehow I'll pull it through there. Then I detrimmed all the bottom. It went up the A pillar behind this seal. It went up through here and then straight across through the top. Came out right here on the other side. So that's how I'm going to run the wire. Go straight across this way, then down. You want to talk about getting lucky? So I have that wire there, right there. Went through all the way around here through the A pillar, down through the, I don't know what it's called, the base, whatever, through this trim through in there, went straight across, came out through here, that's the wire. It had to go through all of those. It had to go up, around, down again because of the hinge opening in both directions. Went up through here, went through here, I didn't want to put it in through the sleeve, so I just taped it really, I mean, I uh, zip-tied it really well. Went up through there. Then I put it inside the grommet. Went up there. And it barely made the connection. It had just enough. It's the perfect length. Not an inch too long, not an inch too short. 
I consider that a success and very lucky. Now I'm gonna zip tie it all the way around, tape it around here so it doesn't come off. And uh, I gotta get the ground signal, I mean the reverse signal and feed power. But the hardest part was this. I put a RTV here so it doesn't have any leak. Looks pretty good. After the RTV dries, um, maybe I'll leave it overnight. Then I gotta put the emblem back on. Should look pretty good. As far as the power goes, this mirror needs uh, two and a half amps. And instead of using the cigarette lighter adapter that comes with it, I uh, bought one. Um, this has a two and a half amp uh, power. And uh, I took the power from, I don't remember what this wire is. Um, I used it for the Raider uh, scrambler. So I'm taking there cut off extra red wires. I also, this was about 10 feet long, maybe 15 feet long. I cut it short to maybe 18 inches. So I have enough slack and I can slide it in there without bulging anything. So let's close everything up, see how it works. <laughs> I'm going to do a layer of RTV around uh, the camera to have better seal. So I cut out a circle tape and, and then I cut out another round tape to cover the lens. Now I'm going to fill in the cap. This didn't come out perfect, but this is uh, 3.40 in the morning and I'm tired and I'm gonna replace this badge anyway maybe next week so this is not bad for temporary job came out a lot better than I thought I like it apply some insulating double-sided tape before reinstalling the light uh, 3M makes some good product but this is a uh, I happen to have some actual OEM uh, stuff so I use that so the water doesn't go inside let's take it for a spin I drove it in the daytime but it had a lot of glare. It's not really meant for uh, a bright sunny day in a convertible.
but it works much better with the uh, top closed and uh, because I have a dark window tinting at night it works much better so I'll close the top front camera view back to the back, cam back camera view I like it, it's really good all the settings playback mode And we are off. It's very hard to see through the back. It's not even night time, so that's when this is handy. I like the result. <laughs> 